meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And just a tremendous amount of moisture with that storm that Patrick just mentioned. So let's check it out right now. You can see the big swirl of moisture down towards portions of Georgia, South Carolina, heading into North Carolina. And this will gradually weaken over the next several days into likely a tropical depression. But as that happens, a tremendous amount of rain here for portions of the Carolinas and Georgia. In the meantime, we're tracking this front for this afternoon. Now behind that front, once we get through some of these showers and thunderstorms, we will see a complete Completely different kind of air mass come on through. These are dew points and ahead of the front, as we would expect, we're in the low to mid 60s. Behind it, notice we're in the upper 50s, so it's this drier air that races in tonight, hangs on for the next couple days, so a completely different kind of feel by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning. In fact, by tonight, you'll feel the difference with the lower humidity and the cooler temperatures. But some warm temperatures on the way this afternoon, that is for sure. We have the blue skies over Newport. Temperatures 76 in Newport, 77 westerly, cooling things off a little bit with that southwesterly breeze. But in Providence, we're at 84. We will increase another few degrees before we're all sudden done with high temperatures this afternoon. Tiverton hanging on to 81 with that onshore wind. And here's our cold front, but because this is kind of an evening arriver, the showers and thunderstorms take a while to get here. So 2 o'clock this afternoon, we're still dry. 3, 4, 5 o'clock, the chance that we could get some downpours and a gusty thunderstorm or two. And there is a slight chance that some of these thunderstorms could contain damaging winds. Again, we're very borderline with those severe ingredients today. If they happen, they'd likely be isolated. If you do happen to hear from one along the south coast, say from Newport into New Bedford, that likely would not happen until 7 or 8 this evening. But again, it's quite possible that these simply fizzle out into some regular old rain showers, which you know, we'll take what we can get at this point in terms of rainfall. So our temperatures will continue to increase in the capital city into the upper 80s. Notice 87 for a high temperature, some spots a little warmer, some a little cooler. And then there is our window of time to pick up at least the chance of some of these showers and thunderstorms. But I do want to emphasize the majority of this entire day and night will be rain free. If you do get a strong thunderstorm, it will be quite brief. Along the south coast, we're looking at low to mid 70, 77 westerly, 76 Charlestown, 73 in Narragansett. So not really a bad day to be outside along the coast. Just make sure to keep an eye to the sky, especially later on today. Mid to upper 80s for inland spots, 84 Burville, 87 Woonsocket, around 85 to 86 degrees in Situate. And for the Attleboro's and the Seekonk, upper 80s, quite warm and humid, 81 in Fall River, and then upper 70s from Westport into Dartmouth around the Horse Neck Beach area. On the water waves, one to two feet in Narragansett Bay, you get just outside of Narragansett Bay into Rhode Island Sound. We do have a small craft advisory in effect. Tonight, here comes the comfortable weather, at least a taste of it. We're talking 58 degrees with clearing skies once we get past 9 and 10 p.m. And then in the seven day future cast, there is the much more pleasant weather, especially for some of the teachers and the students at the classrooms uh, tomorrow. So during the morning, we're talking about temperatures right around 68 o'clock in the morning and then into the afternoon, we're looking at low 70s. Then on Friday, notice how I have 73 for Friday afternoon. Notice that 52 on Friday morning. That's a Providence temperature. I can easily see places like uh, Taunton getting down into the uh, 40s on Friday morning. So kind of invigorating, invigorating, maybe a day for warm coffee instead of the iced coffee. Looking good for the first half of the week and perhaps some showers Sunday evening into Monday. So Patrick, just an eye to the sky, the app. I know we like to talk yes. about that. That's a great thing to have with you this afternoon, the Pinpoint Weather app. Okay, thank you, Pete. Now in stories coming up new tonight.